Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl A Zina Williams. How are you all doing? Hope you guys are good. Hope you guys are fine. If you're new to this channel, kindly click on the subscription button. Click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. Okay, guys, what's in this up? Like, what is happening on BB Niger Street? Because when you guys have been dragging this housemate, I'm like, ah, is it safe to come out? I mean, the other day it was Bella Okabwe from the level up season, and today is Chomzi that is being torn to shreds. What was her offense? She posted herself. And her two children that is her first son which is her stepson and her second son and almost the timeline was just a mess now um she posted and captioned it and said mommy w and j that is weld and um her second son and people came for her this person answered her and said chomsy i know you bettered your own boy and know how much that entails don't you think it is only nice if you tell your husband to return well to his mom how would you feel if this was done to you that boy can never be your son and thank god you have yours make a mom happy and have a rethink now Chomzi was not having it she responded and said you are very wicked if you want him to go to someone who doesn't give a f about him don't you like that he's healthy and handsome do you want him to suffer because preferred mommy doesn't want him now this other person or this same person responded to her and said when were you or where were you when their news broke out we know the story at least some of not all how would she feel if the tables were turned and she can't have access to her own son now chomsey responded and said which news broke out did she tell you anything or you believe a faceless blogger Another person quoted that tweet and said, Nigerian women are actually patient because if you carry my child and start acting or calling him yours rather, someone will have to go to jail. Now, Chomte responded and said, exactly, because it's yours and you want the child. Now, another person said, how are you comfortable denying another woman had toddler while yours is with you? how do you sleep at night she responded and said how are you comfortable tweeting with no brain this other person said in case no one has told you you are very wicked she responded in case no one has ever told you you are very stupid i'm like ah what is all of this just because she posted a picture of herself and these two beautiful boys now this is what i'm gonna say i'm not on anybody's side on this when the news broke out that Chomzi's husband was about to marry her, we saw the gist on the streets. You know, we saw the boy that is that little boy's mom. You know, we saw, I mean, if you go back to my videos I did, I think it was last year or so, the gist they did, or is it last year or this year, one of them, the gist they did, right? And I did not want to dwell on that. People will say what they want to say. I don't know what the situation in their house is. To be very honest, I do not know. I don't know if the situation has changed as of now. I don't know because people are saying that, okay, they are not allowing the mom of the boys to see her child or her son, which if that's true, that's very, very bad. But we do not know. These are all hearsays. Where I have a problem with Chomzi is the manner with which she responded. Even if, now, even if that's, this boy the mom doesn't want him if that is true why publicizing it to save your own self a mother does not do that now do you now see where there is a problem because this boy will grow up you are basically saying that the mother doesn't want him you are meant to protect that little boy because you are the one that dragged that little boy's leg outside you are the one that posted that little boy now you are saying oh i mean the mother did not want him like the boy did not ask for you to publicize that. You could have as well just posted your own son. Like, that's where I don't I don't understand why she did what she did. I know she was trying to, like, save herself, you know, and all of that. But at what or whose detriment? Like, it just doesn't make any sense to me. I'm not for people that are dragging her. But, I mean, the answer she's given, especially that first one, is enough reason for people to keep dragging her because... I don't think any mother will come out and put out that stuff. Like, you don't use, I don't know, it just doesn't, you know, gel. I beg, no, not tell me what you want to think. Let me know your thoughts on this, you know, because, I mean, for me, I just feel like her answers were off, right? I, 
I think she's tr she was trying to score three points or have a clap back. And in the clap back, she now threw that boy under the bus. Like, that's my own two cents on that. But let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section. Now, moving on, Wani has thrown a lot of shapers into confusion. Now, there was an interview that was aired um, yesterday. I think it's by TVC. And in that interview, it was Wani and her sister, her twin sister, Handy. And she was asked about the relationship status between herself and Sean. And she said that Sean is not her boyfriend. That he is actually her amazing friend. That they're still trying to get to know each other. And all more. Hey, <laughs> people were like, why is Wani not claiming Sean? Why is Wani? I'm like, has Sean claimed Wani? Mm. Same thing I said when Switch said that Nelly, you know, is his friend. It's the same thing I'm saying now. Like, has Sean claimed her? You want her to come and say what? So that tomorrow, you know, you people will not use it against her. I mean, we've seen a lot of female ex housemates that come out of the house and claim the man. And when the relationship did not work out, you people were now using them as a laughing stock as the butt of your jokes so i don't understand what female housemates will do on the street if I, I don't even know what you people are expected from ex people and your housemates because they do wahala they don't do another wahala let them be they are amazing friends mm, it's like that it's amazing friendship kind of thing yes until he says okay wanio i want to ask you out i want you to be my woman Whatever it is, they as long as both of them understand it, I don't think it's any of our business. Because even in the house, she said, yes, they are dating in-house. She kept putting that in-house, but a lot of people did not hear it. Even Sean is still saying the same thing. Yes, they are moving as lovers, but I mean, um, we are living in an age where people can be whatever they want to be without any label. So let them be. That's all I have to say about that. It's just beautiful. What would you call it? A friendship or a relationship? Uh, an amazing friendship. So he's your friend? Yes, he's, he's not your boyfriend. boyfriend. Not yet. Another ship that's causing or her cause issues on the timeline is Tonita's ship. Like, this is one ship that <laughs> a lot of us were like, if Anita come out of the house and hear, you know, Tofa's real age, that the ship will scatter. But Anita said, who saw? I mean, you're not going to understand me. So what did Anita do? She held on to that ship with her two hands and yesterday they had like this cute you know interview with Pulse and there was a picture that came out this picture I'm showing you guys here it was adorable and why it became an issue was just a few hours after that picture came out and all of that there was a space held by the Tonita shippers which they were using to um get money generate funds that they will use to give their faith you know it's a big brother niger thing i guess the two people that joined that um space on twitter yes you are right anita and tofa and people were like huh like just a few moments ago you know this um picture came out and people were ah uh, doing all those ah uh, thing and everything and now you guys are joining contribution space like is it that you want shippers money i put them on do shippers 419 I mean, when I want to do shippers for one night, when I want to do for shippers, when I want to scam shippers, well, shippers are like, nah, they love their, uh, their fans, that's why, they love the shippers, that's why, oh, my, I don't even know, which one to say, I find it weird, to be very honest, because I don't really see these type of things, you know, in previous seasons, but with this particular season, ah, we see new things every time, and we just have to keep up with it, I don't know why, eh, uh, What's their names? The Tonita, people in the Tonita ship, that is uh, Anita and Tofa. Why they decided to join, um, what do you call it? The shippers contribution space. Maybe they just mistake. Maybe not mistake. Maybe they think, oh, it's just their Tonita, Tonita shippers. And they do not know what is it. Me, I, I don't know what to say again, though. But all in all, I'm happy for, you know, this ex-housemate. Some of them, you know, are actually doing great. Yesterday, um... Checkers, that is Shizoba and her sister Onyeka were at the um, Lagos Fashion Week. Of course, Nobuli Gwe was there with them. Today we see um, Onyeka directing her first, yes, her first interview. I mean, that's great. That's actually great. I love it for her. And I love that she's navigating her way in this whole, you know, Lagos entertainment industry. 
Yes, guys. Also, Wani and Handy has been busy. Four geeks out of their house, and they actually have another one tomorrow. I mean, it's 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 been great for them. I love it. I love when these housemates, you know what, um, go back to the thing that gives them money or just get themselves busy and not just constituting users on social media. Yes, guys. Well, on that note, I'd like to say a very big thank you to you all for being part of my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, what exactly are you waiting for? Kindly click on the subscription button, click on the notification bell to let you know whenever I post any new video. See yo, until I come your way again, I remain your darling girl, Izzy Williams. Have yourself a beautiful, wonderful day ahead. Bye, guys.